Hey guys, today is my doctor's appointment for my straight bismuth. As y'all can tell in previous videos, I do have a lazy eye. So that's what I'm going to my doctor's appointment for right now. I have to leave in actually a few minutes. But the thing is, I haven't went to this place in like over 10 years or like 10 years or something regarding those lines. I haven't went probably from like eight years old or like six years old or something like that. And I just never returned because I just never felt the need to go back there. I don't know why. But yeah, today's the day, my second time going um, to this doctor's appointment place, and I'm pretty nervous, but I just want to video and do this intro, and it's going to be like a documentary or like my journey of my eye, and I just want to make this because I know everybody already knows about it, so it's not like anything too serious for me, but I'm about to get going, so catch you guys in a little bit. Alright you guys, so we just made it to the little area part, and we are going to go inside now. It's like a little like stairway you have to go up. But yeah, we're here now, and we're about to go inside, and there it is. So yeah, we're gonna go inside. Okay guys, so I'm outside right now. We have to wait like another like 45 minutes till we have to go back inside because she just put eye drops in my eyes for my eyes to get dilated. So the like real doctor can actually come and look at my eyes more and see what he has to do and everything like that. But we're just gonna wait here for a little bit. Um, I don't really know what to do now. I'm here at my mom. She's them who brought me and my big supporter, all my family supporting. And that's what I love. It's like, it feels really like heartwarming to know that I have people to support me during this journey. It makes me feel a lot more comfortable and the doctors make me feel comfortable at it. So I'm happy, but we're just gonna wait and see what happens. I have to go back inside to the doctors. Okay guys, so I just finished my whole entire doctor's appointment day for this straight business journey. So I actually did schedule my surgery date. My surgery date is going to be July 6th and then my pre-op date is going to be June 28th. So I have all my dates sorted out and for everything to come, my surgery, I'm, I'm going, I'm actually a little nervous, but I'm actually happy because I'm going to have a big confident booster for myself and everything like that and self-esteem and everything. But the reason why I'm squinting right now is because when it dilated my eyes, everything, like my eyes are so sensitive to the light right now. So it's making me like squint. And I have like a little photo here. If y'all can see, my eyes are like super like, my pupils are so big. It was, it was terrible and my vision is a little bit blurry. But I do have my surgery date. I do have my pre-op date. And then post-op, I'm gonna have to just go, I think like a few days after. And I'm um, just gonna check everything. And it's gonna be like really quick. And then my pre-op date, um, I'm just gonna like check, make sure everything is in like, like everything's right and ready for me to go into surgery. But I have everything, um, you know, set and I'm really excited. So this surgery is a like surface level surgery. It's not like they're going into my eye or having to take my eyebrow out or anything like that. My surgery is two months from tomorrow. Um, yeah, but that's going on right now. Straight business is hopefully going to end really soon for me and I can have straight eyes. Maybe the, my next clip you might see me is going to be my pre-op when I'm going before, like a few days before my surgery. But I'll see y'all guys in, I don't know how long. Bye. Two months later, back from my pre-op. Surgery is actually one week from tomorrow. So next week, Wednesday, I'm going into surgery. I am so scared. <laughs> my doctor uh, just told me everything. They kind of checked over my eyes, made sure everything have their like little alignments he told me a bunch of stuff that is going to happen next week when i go to the hospital that i'm going to get my surgery tonight so i actually got like papers on papers and i also went to the pharmacy and i got this ointment that i'm going to use two times a day after my surgery for my eye so i have papers here and all these papers just have uh my surgery information um when my surgery is scheduled for it just has like my doctor stuff on here it says before your surgery after surgery it has like a list of stuff what um i need to do like for my surgery i'm supposed to wear comfortable clothes even though they're gonna put me in a hospital gown anywho i'll catch you guys in different clips my surgery is next week and i maybe next clip will be next week when i'm going driving to my surgery but i just want to clarify that i'm super happy for myself don't think anybody's forcing me to do this surgery i actually want to do it myself like i kind of was kind of pushing my mom to make an appointment and i started an appointment last year this place is booked out i'm telling you they're always booked out. We made an appointment last year and we just now this year got it. And I'm talking like like early on last year. Yeah, I love y'all and I can't wait for the surgery to come up and I'll see y'all guys soon. 
Guys, I am going to surgery now. We're driving there right now. I have my mom in the back and my dad is right here. And we're just driving there now. So I'm actually getting a little bit nervous, but um, everything's gonna be okay. So we are at the surgery center now. We have to go on the fifth floor to get up to like the real area I have to be at. But we just got here and um, yeah, I'm getting, I'm, the more I get here and the more I get closer to walking inside, the more nervous I get. But I just have to keep telling myself that everything will be okay. Anything you want to say? Um, I don't know. There's, I'm, I have my gown on now, and they gave me this little blanket. And my nurse is gonna come back, and I think she's gonna put my IV in, which I'm a little nervous for. But um, I'm excited that we're all already here. So. Bye. Oh my God, guys! Look who's back. I don't know how much hours it is after surgery. It's probably like four hours post-op. There is a lot of discomfort in my right eye, which I got it done on. I can really tell that my eye is seeing straight. It's really red. I don't know how much I can open it because it feels like, I don't know if it's an eyelash in my eye. I'm sorry, I'm not really smiling, but I can't really smile too much right now. But that's, I'm trying to open my eyes as much as possible. I don't want to touch it or anything, but that's, that's how much I can open it for now. It really, I'm not saying it's painful, but you can really tell something happened. So that's just me looking straight in the mirror right now, not like at the camera. This is me looking at the camera, so I'm obviously looking more like to that side, like at myself. And that's me looking straight at the camera. But it's really burning right now. Like as I open it, I don't know if there's an eyelash in my eye or if that's how it's supposed to feel, but really at the edge of my eyelid. It's like burning. <laughs> Surgery went amazing. That's what my doctor said, by the way. I still came to talk to y'all. My eyes about to start dripping again. I can feel it. But um, I just have to keep wiping it. And I'm glad that everything went good. And this is me looking straight. Bye, guys. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling better. This food is helping me a lot. But um, still kind of tired. I think after this, I'm going to sleep again. Or I think I need to apply something to my eyes for um like the ointment i have to get but i'm feeling a lot better now but this soup is helping me so <laughs> that's better so i had my surgery uh yesterday and it is july 7th now the day after i'm actually feeling pretty good um my brother asked me rate my pain right now from one to ten and i said a four which is not bad at all for just having surgery but i said if i like look around like if i look that way or that way i'll rate it a seven because looking side to side is a lot more um painful than looking like up or down this is me looking straight into the camera right now um yeah i'm not looking like at myself this is me looking at myself but looking into the camera this is what i look like looking upwards i'm looking down so yeah um, i'm doing pretty good today i'm actually up and i slept a lot today too i applied the uh, ointment to my eye earlier this morning and i'm going to do it uh, later on tonight but yeah everything is going pretty good um i'm pretty happy with the results and it's not a lot of pain i actually just have a little bit of double vision just a tiny bit of discomfort but that's all overall my surgery and tell so my doctor said that my surgery went very well i'm really happy about but yeah this is just day two Alrighty, we're going to my post-op um appointment and we're just driving there now but here's what my eye looks like guys i missed my two week like showing y'all what i looked like but i'm going to my post-op now so i'm going to video after and i think this is gonna be like the last part of the video um but yeah everything's good so far and we're just gonna drive there now so well, guys, I just got back from my post-op appointment. It actually went pretty well, but there is a little bit of a problem. My eye still has a little bit of drift going on, but we have to wait for my three month appointment um, in October for us to really see like full results because my eye is still really red and still has a lot of swelling going on. But um, everything went pretty much well besides that. So we are going to just wait for our three month appointment to come up. 
but in the meantime we're just gonna be waiting for it to heal a lot more and we're gonna see our final results by then anyways guys this is where i'm going to end the video today is three weeks and three days since i've got my surgery done i do notice that i still have a drift as i said before that is a little heartbreaking i really was hoping that it would like have ended and everything and like i'll be looking straight at you guys right now as you can tell it's still like over and everything i'm going to be going back in a few months just for them to like look at it again and i can decide if i want to get surgery again or if i don't want to get surgery again basically the next time i go to appointment it's my decision if i want to get surgery or not but yeah guys we're just gonna rough it out until school starts i love you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching i'm so happy to all y'all that stayed to the end and just went through this whole entire journey with me it was a super long process but i hope to see you guys soon and um i love y'all bye